The signs are becoming clearer and clearer. The tribulation is growing and bringing with it the purification that will then give way to the era of peace. But first, we must face the great tribulation, a time like never before seen, with the fall of economies, wars and conflicts, famines and shortages, natural disasters, floods, earthquakes, plagues, and persecution of faithful Christians. How will faithful Catholics survive when there may not be food available for those who do not have the mark of the beast? Putting it on is prohibited by God. Welcome to our channel, my brothers and sisters in Christ. The Blessed Virgin Mary has given us a powerful tool, the Blessed Grapes. The Blessed Grapes will not only feed you during the tribulation but will also strengthen you spiritually and provide you with the divine protection you need. In today's video, we will reveal to you the power of the Blessed Grapes, the revelations of the Virgin Mary to Father Jim Blunt about this heavenly food, and how to prepare and preserve the blessed grapes for your protection and sustenance. During the final half of the three and a half year tribulation, faithful Catholics who do not follow the Antichrist will face severe weather. They'll have to survive on little food and in secret. For this reason, the warning that the faithful should start stockpiling food in their homes for several months has come to Father Jim Blunt and other mystics. This is the right time because there will come a point when people will still be wealthy but there won't be enough food reserves. We need to make sure the food we preserve doesn't go bad in case the prophecy is altered by prayers or other events and the timeline extends. However, if your food needs exceed three months and you have already faithfully gathered food for three months in answer to Christ's invitation, you may be sure that any food you have will magically multiply and that what you have used will be substantially supplied. However, there is a slight problem. What would happen if you lived in an apartment and stored three months worth of food? The remedy lies in the miraculous grapes, which the Blessed Virgin taught how to transform into non-perishable food with their nutritious and protecting value enhanced supernaturally. Treated and preserved as indicated by Mary, half a grape per day is all we need to replace all the water and all the food for the day. We have to do it on an empty stomach to nourish us. Science has discovered that grapes are a product rich in antioxidants. They are a high source of potassium that increases brain power and has many anti-inflammatory properties. The vine is frequently mentioned in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Matthew tells us the parable of the evil vine dressers, and John narrates the speech of Jesus, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit he prunes so that it bears more fruit. On the day of the August Feast of the Assumption of Mary, the Orthodox bless the grapes, believing them to be a representation of the blood of Christ in the Eucharist. In tandem with the Armenian Orthodox, the Armenian Catholic Church also accomplishes this. When the Virgin Mary appeared to Mama Quattrini, a seer in San Damiano, Italy, in the 1960s and 1970s, she gave her the advice that the best meal to eat during difficult times is blessed grapes. A cluster of grapes was blessed by Our Lady, signifying that all people who believe in the nutritious worth of these grapes will be sustained. She requested that during the anti-Christian days when the mark of the beast, conflicts, starvation, drought, plagues, disasters, tragedies, and diseases would come. For almost twenty years, the Virgin Mary appeared in San Damiano, a small village about 20 kilometers south of Piacenza in Italy. On October 16, 1964, the Blessed Virgin appeared to Mama Rosa for the first time of the 2000 times she did so. She said, My little one, announce to the world that everyone must pray. Jesus can no longer carry the cross. I want you all to be saved, 
That is why I have come to lead the world to prayer because the punishments are near. She said that the world has become evil and is on the eve of great scourges if it does not return to God. We must pray, pray, and pray again. The prayer that the Blessed Virgin requested is the Rosary, the most powerful weapon to defeat evil. She mentioned that there would be numerous signs in the sky day and night before the tribulations arrive, and the cloud of evil advances through all corners of the earth. The souls that have no light will perish. The Vatican will be covered with intrigues, and what is rotten will fall, and a new era will emerge. Along with the blessed grapes, another noteworthy detail is that in 1966 Mary asked for a well to be excavated, and forth came a spring. It is the most holy water in the world, according to the miraculous Virgin of the Roses. Come and drink the water of grace from this well, wash yourselves, purify yourselves, friends. Let's go back to the grapes now. How are those fortunate grapes obtained? What advice does the Virgin give? Approach a priest and request a blessing for one or more grapes, ideally black grapes. After the priest has blessed one grape, rub the blessed grape against the remaining grapes while they are still attached to the bunch and say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen, to bless the remaining grapes. Rinse them after giving them a thorough wash using a solution of water and one or two drops of liquid soap. Then, cut the grapes from the bunch with scissors, leaving a small piece of stem on each grape, and place them in a clean glass container, filling it three-quarters full. The rest is completed with brandy or cognac, as liquors with a high concentration of alcohol are needed. These preserved grapes are closed hermetically. One blessed grape can be used to prepare other blessed grapes, so you can share with others. It is useful to have two kinds of jars filled with blessed grapes, one sealed until someone has to eat them, and another filled with blessed grapes so that other people might manufacture their blessed grapes. Being in a condition of grace and using it with a strong sense of confidence and trust in God is necessary since it is a sacramental. These grapes are not fit for sale and will not cheer up trolls or gullible people. The blessed grapes may be used in diverse ways by some devout people for whom Jesus has different purposes. Jesus said that using a blessed grape to fast might be done no more than once or twice a week. It would be wise to hold off on using the blessed grapes until the great warning day or until there is no more food in the area.